Hello and welcome to the first Diablo 3 Hot Topics podcast. On this podcast we will be going over topics that are important to the D3 community. First on the list of topics has got to be Blizzard asking the player base what they want to do about magic fine gear swapping. In case you don't know what this is, it's when a player uses his standard gear to start a boss or champion fight but then at the very last second switch to magic fine gear in hopes of getting better drops from the boss or champion pack. Blizzard is asking the player base how to prevent this from happening. It may be a PR move to keep players engaged, but I for one like that idea. If you have not seen the post, the link is posted below. Second on the list, and it's been raging ever since the game was released, people are truly angry that the game feels rushed and unfinished. I for one agree with that assessment. Being a software developer myself, any time when software is rushed out the door, testing is always what suffers, and we see plenty of proof of that. Take for example the four acts that make up the game. In Act 1 it was very well done, there were 10 chapters, and the cutscene at the very end was probably the best moment at the game. In Act 2 there was again 10 chapters, but the story started getting predictable. Overall it was still very good. In Act 3 we started losing chapters, and the story started going downhill. By Act 4 we practically had no story, and it felt like it was being thrown together just to give the game an ending. From a testing standpoint, you always start at the beginning and move to the end. The beginning of D3 was excellent, but it dropped off very quickly. Blizzard has always had good story writers, and good story writers don't have a problem embellishing content. It's usually hard for them to wrap up content because they're so good at writing details. In a well-written story, the act should be getting longer as the characters develop. It shouldn't be getting shorter. The other example I would like to give is the lack of or no testing on legendary items. With any reasonable testing, they should have seen how bad legendary itemization is compared to blues and rares. Considering how much experience they should have gotten from D2 itemizations, I just cannot understand how they failed this badly. Topic number 3 is concerning server stability or their lack thereof. I for one would have given Blizzard the benefit of the doubt, but it's been a hot topic since launch. Going with my lack of testing theory, I think it's poorly optimized code on the server and maybe even on the client. Wherever it is, the hardcore and software community is not pleased, and I cannot say I blame them. Speaking of hardcore, the next few topics will be specific to that community. In topic 1, we will be talking about gold exchange from softcore to hardcore, and vice versa. It happens on a daily basis, and I'm not really sure if that's good for the hardcore community. Apparently, Blizzard doesn't have a problem with it. I'm a bit wishy-washy on the subject, so I just tend to ignore it. What do you guys think about this topic? Topic number 2 is about griefers. In D2 they were known as PK or player killers. Player killers was an accepted part of hardcore in D2, but in D3 Blizzard has made it clear that PKing should only happen in arenas. Hence why PKers are known as griefers in D3. The most common way to die to griefers is 1. Joining a game with a griefer that is higher level than you. They tell you that it's safe to use the flag and you teleport into a large group of enemies. The second way to die is that a griefer will kite a whole bunch of white mobs into the F1 town. If you aren't careful or you're not paying attention, you could die to them when you join the game. The third way to die is that two griefers will uh, create a game. They will fight all the way to the boss. When you click OK to enter the boss fight, they will cancel, not leave the game, and watch you fight the boss alone. These are just the most common examples. Be careful when joining a public game. The last item I would like to cover is a blue post regarding patch 1.0.3b. Blizzard has changed the mechanics behind public games. Blizzard wants all public games to have 4 players. Once a game fills up, it will disappear from the public games counter. This is why you may have noticed a reduction in public games.